What's up, Yu-Gi-Oh players? My name is Alex, also known as Inch95, and I'm bringing you guys a quick video. I just did a little bit of a short stream, but I'm feeling very under the weather right now. I just started school this week, so I can't really stream for an extensive amount of hours. But um, some of you guys may that have, may have seen the live stream, the, the short little live stream that I did earlier to get some ideas from you guys. That I did get Patrick Tobin's book, Road to the King, and I do plan on doing a full-on review of this book. Maybe be breaking it down. Um, I believe there's like 30 sections, 29 sections, so I may break it down into like two sections per video. I think it'd be very beneficial for you guys. I mean, I've I've seen uh, Patrick Chapin's uh, Magic the Gathering book. Uh, before uh, shout out to Nim Nim, he did send me that, so I was able to look over that um, book called Next Level Magic. I think that was very very cool. But this is really like the Yu-Gi-Oh version of that book, and I think it's for great. I mean, it's a huge thick book. It's like 450, you know, 500 pages, and I think it'll be, you guys would benefit from that. I mean, I feel like I could definitely break down the book for you guys if you guys don't understand something, or if you guys don't have it and don't have the funds to afford it. I obviously bought it to help support Patrick. He's a good buddy of mine, so uh, there's no reason. I mean, it was like 20 bucks. I think right now it's like 25 on Amazon, to my knowledge. Um, but I'm not obviously here to promote the book for you guys. I just want to we'll let you guys know that I do plan on reviewing that book. And then as far as the ban list goes, which is kind of the more central point of this video, is the fact that uh, I talked to a couple friends and sources and they were saying that uh, the ban list should ideally be set up for April 1st if Konami does give us one. But with YCS Providence and Houston around the corner and really going to, you know, get, they're going to be here sooner rather than later. So, um, you know, I feel like if they do give us a list, they may wait one YCS and then give us the list after that just to see how the adjusted list and everything has been doing. Uh, because it's kind of difficult to gauge everything really just off of ARGs or regionals and such, particularly for Konami. But as a whole, I think right now it, it, there is a very real possibility that Konami could really... Uh, allow us or not allow us but choose to make us stay in the same format because I've noticed that you know there is there doesn't seem to be too much hype around a lot of the stuff that should be coming out in the next couple sets I haven't really heard too much about it typically uh, you know a couple weeks or a month or so before the next set comes out there's a ton of hype about like a new archetype or new support and uh, I think there's a little bit of Draco support in there I think there's um, I heard there's maybe like some Raid Raptor support um, among other things I know there's the blue eye support there's just a lot of uh, a lot of little things here or there that I think could definitely uh, help the format, but could also hurt it in some cases. So I think Konami might wait to see how their next set, which I forget the total, the complete name of the set off the top of my head, but the next set I believe comes out like at the end of April, mid to late April. So, uh, you know, when that set comes out, I think uh, it'll be very interesting to see how Konami chooses to uh, move about the format and maybe giving us another adjusted list or just another ban list in general because right now there's quite a bit of diversity i mean we obviously have pendulums which is arguably the most unfair deck just because of the pendulum mechanic um, we have cosmos we have monarchs we have burning abyss and phantom knight variants we have um, a little bit of mermails here or there uh unfortunately we have the ftk deck i mean there's there's quite a few decks out there there's definitely at least three to four solid decks with maybe like three or four uh average decks behind those so I think it would be very interesting to see if Konami chooses to not give us any immediate list and just, just doing the whole thing that they did, I believe it was like a year or two ago, where they said, you know, we aren't making any changes to this list, the format will continue as it is, um, and really just allowing the product that's supposed to be coming out to kind of change and warp the format a little bit more. Um, I mean, I don't really see them hitting anything like Solemn Strike or anything along those lines because they obviously want to milk those cards when, they, when they're about to reprint them, so uh, we'll see. I mean, I think right now the one thing we can really be assured of is that Konami's definitely going to be waiting until they can take full advantage of, you know, the summertime where kids are on break and people are attending their events and the World Championship Qualifier and when people had those those extra bucks in their wallets when they're willing to spend them over summer and really getting their reprint sets that they usually announce. So, um, I mean, obviously they just had Gold Series, so they're trying to make as much off of that as possible. So, uh, it'll be interesting to see where Konami goes from this, but I can definitely see them not giving us a list. Do you guys think they're going to give us a list rather sooner rather than later? And do you think it's a possibility they could that they could just leave the format as is? I mean, that's something that I think we definitely have to be uh, cognizant of, you know. So I mean, we have to be aware of the fact that if uh, if Konami chooses to not release a list anytime soon, it really allows uh, YCS Houston and Providence to kind of just go on as planned uh, in this current format, and then obviously allowing the list to uh, kind of uh, be based off of the future product. Then. Um, you know, it is what it is, but uh, yeah, so that's really all, all I want to touch on. I just want to bring that to you guys. Do you guys think Konami could release a new list, or, or are they really potentially leaning towards uh, keeping the same list? And also, are you guys interested in seeing the Patrick Hoban Road to the King book review? Like I said, I know some people don't want to pay for a book like this. Uh, there isn't an online version, but um, I was fortunate enough to pick up a copy of this, and um, I just got it, so I think it'd be very cool to, to break down the book for you guys. So if you guys are interested in that, Please thumbs up, drop a like, comment down below. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram at Inch95. I am sick and I need to go grab some Panda Express because I'm hungry like no other. 
And uh, I gotta go figure out all my stuff. So, uh, peace out, you guys. I do plan on streaming a lot more on YouTube. I'm kind of straying away from Twitch because I don't have the great capabilities for that right now. But, um, yeah, if you guys are interested in that and enjoy this, please thumbs up. And uh, I'll see you guys in my next video tomorrow. Bye, guys.